Hey everyone, it's Cindy, and I finally, after months, have gotten my jelly plate out. I've been wanting to play with it for a long time, so today was a day. It's a nice rainy day, so here we go. Um, what I wanted to try was jelly plating or printing on fabric. So, I've attempted it this morning a little bit. I'll show you some of my um, efforts. You can see that one. Put it up closer. So basically it works just like paper, except it's fabric. And I'm thinking these will make some great covers. Um, some sort of, you know, they're not really quite big enough to put on a um, 12 by nine envelope, almost. They're like eight and a half by, or eight and three quarters by 11 and three quarters, but it'll get close. So I'll figure out how I'm gonna use them. Um, you know, actually make the journal out of them later, but here's another one. I know my light's not really good today because of the, a storm but anyway there's that one and here's another one and um these are just basically backgrounds for a cover and then we'll put some sort of focal point on the front so anyway i was just playing around with that so i thought i'd bring you along and also um i use some piece of fabric it's kind of like where i'm cleaning off my brayer so that'll become something too so anyway i thought i would show you me doing this and um since I'm impatient and I don't like to wait too long for the paint to dry, I kind of started doing it in layers. So um, let's figure out what kind of layer. So let's put turquoise down. I still have a little gold on there, so we'll see if it'll pick it up. So I've been <clears throat> just putting this on and I don't care how smooth it is because I don't like it when it's perfect. I like all the little, um, little fun things that come up with it and all the little glimishes and stuff. And over here on the side, I had these little jelly prints plates that Robin sent me. So I'm just using that to clean off my brayer and then I've got stuff over here. Okay, oh, I was going to stamp on it with my Dragonfly stamp. And it's just a foam stamp. And I'm just stamping straight on this. And then I could, if I wanted to, and I probably do, when, well, it's not doing much. I'm gonna clean off my stamp over on this other one. It's not really adding much, so. A little bit. And what th one thing about using um, these stamps like this on this jelly plate is it really slips and slides, so you gotta kinda watch it. Okay, yeah, that's how, I got a little bit more paint on there. So, okay, here's the blank one we're using now. It's got strings, sometimes the strings get in the way, and that's just okay. So we've got all sorts of strings and things that's wanting to cling. This piece of fabric is not as thick as the other ones I just showed you. And, okay, that's what it looks like now. Very faint. You see that? But you can't see the dragonflies through. But I'll be covering those up a little bit. So, um, okay, I'm going to put another layer on. Um, let's try, what do we have so far? We had oranges and purples. I don't have a pink out. Let's see if I can grab a pink. You know, I can't. Uh, here we go. It's probably dried up, but we'll see. I have two tubs of paint over here. One was mine for my craft room, but one my husband had out in his studio. And yeah, oh, that is so thick. And that was probably way too much. But anyway, okay. I don't even know what to do with my brayer. Here we go. Ooh, gloppy, gloppy. So, uh, you can see, yep, yikes. I'll just put it over there on that piece of fabric. I'm just gonna swipe that up, that too. Okay, there's some things I don't want on my <laughs> jelly plate. So, okay, put this over here and over here, sticking to everything. That's so thick it's sticking to the paper. Okay. Now, I have another stamp. Let's try it. I want to stamp quite a bit because if I don't, it's going to cover up a lot of my turquoise, all this pink. So let's kind of remove some of it. I got too much on here. I'm going to use this again. Just make it look 
kind of like a background. I'm going to come over here and stamp on those too. Okay, now <laughs> let's try this piece of fabric. See how it does. Try to get all lined up. Okay, sticking to that one. I don't think that's thunder. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I think that's a truck. Unfortunately, thunderstorms today, I think it just rained a little bit of lightning and a little bit of thunder. Okay. Well, now we can't really see my turquoise. A little bit in the background. So that's not too bad. It's kind of... The one thing I noticed about it is the colors are kind of muted. They're not real bright. And of course, it could be my paints. But, okay, let's try cleaning off these. Can you see them? Yeah. This one, I had it really pretty. And then I noticed I did it on the back. too great <laughs> too many muddy colors together but this would be just the background for this I see this gold shimmer that's really pretty let's see if we can get some of that maybe to finish this off actually I think uh yeah let's try I'm gonna do circles I did this earlier I'm gonna put the glue not the glue Ooh, yikes that's way too much okay too much what do you do what I do is take the lid off scoop some of it back up <laughs> so now we got a mess on my lid but I don't want to make a mess it's a good thing good thing I don't okay now think about the gold is it seems to take it a long time to dry especially if you get it too thick This is sticky from earlier times using it. It's not a lot, but just enough to give hints. So anyway, this is like how not to jelly plate. <laughs> just a hint of the gold. Now we have to, well, we don't have to wait for it to dry, do we? That's right, because I'm going to put it on this. Now, the pink on this is not dry, so let's see what that does. Got a wrinkle. Sometimes the wrinkles are fun, too. We'll just see what happens with them. You can see the gold coming through on the back. Oh, okay. As you can see that a little bit. Okay, so anyway, I was just gonna, I was just turning this on just for a little bit for you guys to see what it's like um, doing this on fabric. And this feels really good because it's thicker fabric, so it feels more like canvas. So anyway, you might want to give it a try and you'll do a better job, I'm sure, of mixing colors. But uh, anyway, just thought I would uh, let you see what I'm doing and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.